Okay, in this video, I want to talk about、um, another example about cylindrical shell method. So I have function x equals one plus y squared, x equals zero, y equals one, y equals two. I'm going to rotate this region about x axis. Now I have to graph this. So x equals one plus y squared. I always want to rewrite this like y in terms of x. So subtract one, I will have x minus one equals y squared. So my y should equal square root of x subtract one. So y equals square root of x subtract one has a curve something like this because if the square root of x is just curve like that and you have to shift to the right one unit so it's a curve like this. All right, so well,、uh, x equals zero is y axis and y equals one is here, y equals two is there, so. This is the region that enclosed by those four curves, and now I'm going to rotate this about x-axis in order to get the volume of this revolution. So I put a generic rectangle here because it rot is rotating about x-axis. So I'm going to use a horizontal rec rectangle. So this rectangle is horizontally set here. All right. So after I rotate my rectangle, this is my rectangle about x-axis. So I will have a shape like this. Remember? Yeah. So it's a cylindri cylindrical shell, and the th thickness is very tiny. So it's. A very thin, a very thin ring. Okay, so here is the curve, and now we have to find the cylindrical, the shell radius and shell height. So this is the shell height. It's obvious. So from the center to a point on the graph, on the curve. So this curve is a function x equals one plus y squared. So we know the height is f of y here. Okay, so it's one plus y squared, and the radius is from here to there. This is the center of of the circle, right? So the radius will be y value. Okay, from here to there is just y value because here this is some generic rectangle. So from zero to there just y. Okay, so I use a volume formula. Is integrating from one to two, two pi y, y is the radius times ta uh shell height, which is one plus y squared, because the shell height is here, it's on the curve, so it's the of the value of the function. Okay, so this is set up. Now I'm going to pull out two pi out of the integration, so this is two pi is out here, and y times one plus y squared. So I'm going just to distribute y into the parentheses. I will have y plus y cubed dx, and the antiderivative functions for these two terms will be one half y squared, and this will be one fourth. Y to the fourth, from one to two. So in the end, I will get twenty-one over two pi. All right, that's it.